All right, today we're going to go over the settings in iOS 7 and how they've changed. Okay, so most of the part, it looks pretty normal. You got your airplane mode, you got your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi just it's all it's all very similar. The biggest thing is just in terms of layout and how it looks. So you got your Bluetooth, you got your cellular data if you have an iPad with um, 3G or 4G, uh, your VPN which is just another kind of uh, your own uh, network. Then you got the notification center. So this is a little bit different. Uh, you can kind of adjust things in terms of today's summary. This is on your reminders, and when you swipe down, you'll see. How right here it says thunderstorm, partly cloudy, currently at 61 degrees. Um, then uh, that's just kind of so we could do today's view, a calendar day view, reminders. You can sort it manually, or sort it by time, and then you can just go through and pick which what reminders you want and how they set up. I mean, this is all pretty pretty similar. They do have some new alerts though, which are kind of cool. I don't know if you'll be able to hear those, but uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and that's, so that's pretty much the same thing. The new addition is Control Center, even though they don't have much here, but it's pretty cool. This is one where you swipe up from the bottom and you have access to all the major things that you need to control, and they just really have made that nice in the new iOS 7. Uh, and so this just kind of asks you what you want to do with it, um, whether you want to access it on the lock screen and access it within apps. I have both those turned on because usually you want to turn those things on or turn them off, turn off like Wi-Fi or whatever when, you, um, when you're in an app or when you're on the lock screen. Uh, Do Not Disturb is it was on, was on the iOS 6. Uh, you could just turn this on whether you jump into a meeting or whether you just uh, want to have some peace and quiet, don't want your phone buzzing at you every few minutes. So you can just turn this on and off just by clicking that. Um, and when you do that, you'll see a little uh, moon or a half moon up in the top right corner. So watch when I turn that off, you'll see it go away. So it'll, it actually tells you that too. There's a moon icon that will appear in the status bar. Um, once again, you got your general, all the basic stuff here. Um, nothing too new here as of right now. Um, accessibility, these are kind of add some more functions. So they got voiceover. Um, you could create your text and you can make the text larger. See how that works. Um, I just kind of keep mine in the middle. Um, another, another thing is they could bolder text, uh, increase the contrast, um, the home speed click. Um, you could change that so when you do like a triple click, you can go to inverted colors, which it's not showing on my screen capture thing, but um, that's great for reading in the dark. Um, then you got your sounds, basic stuff you can change. They got folks. Facebook posts in there, um, wallpapers and brightnesses. They've actually got some now that are pretty cool because they got dynamic, which they actually move, the products actually move around, which I'll show you. Um, you got your privacy, uh, basic stuff here, same stuff. iCloud's the same. Um, mail contacts, all pretty much the same again. Just a little bit easier to read, kind of go through. You got your notes, reminders, messages once again. Uh, FaceTime, um, where you could be reached at, your maps, Safari, um, this is which, which search engine you want, whether it's Google, Google, Yahoo, or Bing. You can change your passwords, which and which one you want them to save, all that good stuff. Um, iTunes and App Store, there it goes, it shows your Apple ID, um, whether iTunes Music will match, like whether they have iTunes Match on, you got your music videos, like start where you're playing where you left off versus start from the beginning, uh, photos and camera. This just talks about all the different like photo sharing, um, how you summarize photos, um, iBooks. I always have the sync bookmarks and sync collections because I have my iPhone um, and my iPad that I use both for reading and stuff like that. So podcasts, you can have them sync to your subscriptions. iTunes University, if you're a student, you got uh, textbooks, you got your game center as well, uh, talks about your game center profile. If you guys find me, I'm Boomtown1234, if you guys want to play me in any games. And then you can turn on friend recommendations through contacts or Facebook. And then it just goes through your basic apps here on the left hand side. Um, you can click on, let's say, Google Earth, and it just shows like where you signed in from. A lot of these things don't really have anything on there, iMovie. Um, you can record what uh, frame rates, 
Um, if you're using Pages, it can, you could use iCloud, um, whether you want to open copies or if you want to open the original documents from iCloud. And as you can see, settings is pretty similar. Uh, just a few additions like Control Center here, a um, few new sounds, wallpapers with the new dynamic, um, being able to adjust the parallax, that's what they call it. Um, most of the stuff is pretty straightforward, but settings, once, remember once again, settings is where you control everything. Um, with how how your iPad works. So get in here, play around with it. Um, worst case scenario, you go under general, um, you can always go under reset and re reset all or reset all settings, all content and settings. And the reason you do those is if you ever need to start over or just something happened with the device and you just want to start over. So that's a great spot. If you have any questions, make sure you hit us up on Facebook or shoot us uh, an email at info at yourmachelpers.com. Thank you. Don't want to go in,